All right, guys, there's been a lot of different ways that uh, people have come up with to camouflage these gator hides, and we found that this works the best for us when you're in a grassy, marshy type environment. We use a combination of two different types of grasses. Number one is the common fast grass that you get from Mud Buddy. We take a four by four sheet, we cut it in half, and we wrap it around the top of this bow rail and tie strap it. Wrapping it around, it's important because it allows it to flare upwards like this and look more natural, it doesn't lay flat. You cut it where it hangs down just enough to cover the boat. You can see that the boat is covered all the way down to the water line. This runs in the water, it's fine, it trailers fine, it never leaves. This has been on here since last hunting season, used it all year. Then we use Instagrass. This Instagrass stuff that we buy, uh, we tie strap it permanently to the face shields and permanently to the doors because you're constantly throwing your face shield up and you're constantly flipping your doors up and you don't want all that stuff coming off. This is how our boat stays all hunting season, up and down the highway, and also in the water. Now I'm gonna get in the boat, and I'm gonna show you how we cover the rest of the boat in a matter of minutes. Okay, I usually carry with me in the boat either one large decoy sack of the Instagrass or two small sacks, either way you wanna do it. Cheap decoy sacks so that the water, when you get wet in the hunt, it gets off, it keeps it dry, lets it breathe when you're not using it. And when I get ready to grass this blind while everybody else is throwing out decoys or doing their thing, I basically just start taking this stuff out of the bag and dropping it on the deck. Just like that. You throw your sack down and you just, pr just crimp it up a little bit. Open this hatch here for the dog to get in, and then cover the hatch back, just like that. One around this side, in between the face shields. Front of the deck here like this, and you've got about half the boat done with one sack. Then you just dump the other sack out and do the back half of the boat. You're through in less than a minute. And you can just crimp this stuff to get it however you want. But what, what's so key about the camouflaging of this Instagrass is the depth. You can see how deep that is on my leg when I step inside it. It's just deep. It looks more natural. It's not just flat like regular flat, uh, fast grass would be. And then you've got a boat that looks just like the bank from tip to tip. And you can see what we do with the motor cover here on this engine on the side over here. We just throw one more of these bundles of Instagrass over the engine, and it doesn't get any better than that. Um, it takes about 10 bags of this stuff, 10, 12 bags to do a four-man hide. 220, 230 bucks, whatever it is to get that, it's half the price of a regular blind. This is the best way to camo it out in the grass, boys. Burn it again. All right, and that's it. Pretty much you've got, so you can see I've got half the boat done. And that just came out of one big decoy sack, or, or one small decoy sack. And it takes about uh, 10 to 12 hanks of this stuff. Uh, the one, one uh, sack of this stuff is called a hank. And you can put about 10 or 12 of those in a decoy sack. And, you know, this stuff is about, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks a hank. It takes about 10 to 12 hanks to do. So for 200 bucks, which is half the price of any other blind on the market, um, you've got a, a, a blind that is camouflaged this well. And I tell you, this is the grass I used last year, and there's nothing wrong with it. I got a full duck decoy season out of it, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'll use it again next year. This stuff we're using is actually called palm frond. And what they do is they strip the outer edges of that palm, tree, uh, palm leaf, and it's extremely durable. I mean, that's actually wanting to cut into my fingers before it breaks. That's strong stuff. And it lasts a long time. And they just take it and put it in a bundle like this. And this is what they call a hank of it. That's about one hank. And it takes about 10 or 12 of these to do an entire four-man gator hide, including your hunt deck and your motor. And uh, once your motor cools off, which doesn't take long, this stuff's very, very good about that. Once your motor, motor cools off and you don't have a whole lot of heat coming out of your muffler anymore, you can just take this thing and throw it over the engine and spread it out a little bit. And it just doesn't get any easier or more camouflage than that. It's, it's the way to go. 
when it's time to go and you're ready to pick all this stuff up, you just grab it and start feeding it in the bag. You'd be amazed how much you can compress into this decoy sack. What's really a good idea, guys, is to put this in an inexpensive or old, worn out uh, mesh bag so it can dry between hunts. This is an old decoy sack I've had for a lot longer than its life expected to be. And but instead of throwing it away, now I use it to put this, this palm frond in. Pushing this bag a little limit here. Am I going to pull it off now? This way towards you? Yeah. But uh, this stuff is, is probably the best that there is for being realistic camouflage um, and, and being quick. I mean, it's just very, very simple. When you get ready to go, if you have to take it off to get to the motor, you just simply pull it off the motor and it's free. It's very stringy and doesn't really cling to a lot. You can toss it, you know, ball it up extremely small and shove it under a deck. We've got about nine of these, eight, eight or nine of these in that one small decoy sack. It's the way to go.